Okay, key factor seven. Before we talk about products, let's have a quick Solar Coach 101 lesson on your solar system. Your system is made up of two main parts, your solar panels and your inverter. Your panels produce energy from the sun and they send it to your inverter. This inverter then converts the energy into a form that you can use to power your household appliances and heat and cool your home. And any surplus energy is sent back to the grid. Likewise at night when you've got no solar production, you actually run completely on the grid connected power. All right, we've covered the basics. Let's start with some myth busters about the best and worst products on the market. First and foremost, there is no one country that has an ultimate handle on the world solar technology market. There are good quality manufacturers found in many countries, but the two that get the biggest rap are Germany and China. And often people will tell you that the best products are from Germany and never buy anything out of China because it's all cheap rubbish. The truth of the matter today is that many of the most popular European products are designed or engineered, for example in Germany, but are made somewhere in Asia. And it's simply the way of world manufacturing these days. So if you're one of those people who say you'll never buy anything made in China, well you, you're not living in the real world. It is true that China does produce a lot of poor quality stock for this industry. But as with all things, it comes down to the quality of the manufacturer. What you need to look for is a tier one manufacturer. Now these are generally referred to as laboratory grade manufacturers. Usually a tier one manufacturer will have a much greater control of the process from raw materials through to completed product. Also the type of quality control procedures will produce a far better testing ground for long term use. Tier one companies will generally have a much greater portion of their revenue poured back into research to continue to develop better products and they generally have high quality equipment to help produce a high quality product. Tier 1 companies usually have decades worth of experience in most cases too. Tier 2 manufacturers also have high quality products but are often not at the same stage of their Tier 1 brothers. Anything much lower than these first two tiers and you get a significant drop in the quality of the components, the quality of the build and the degree of adequate quality control in the manufacturing process. Let me give you a quick example. One point of quality control that a tier one panel would pass through is something called EEL screening. Imagine if you will a big x-ray machine that the panels pass through as one of their final points of quality control. This machine checks for micro cracks in the solar cells of the completed panels. Obviously a cracked or damaged cell won't work efficiently and degrade the performance of the whole system if placed on your roof. Often lower grade producers will use human production lines for quality control. Now can you imagine working on the production line, checking for micro cracks in the solar cells by holding them up to the light and going, yeah, that looks okay. I mean, how good is that person's quality control after eight hours on the job? I mean, forget about fancy brand names and just stick with the tier one manufacturer and you'll avoid most of the problems associated with stock. And this advice applies to both the inverters and the solar panels. Here are two extra things to look for that will help to determine if the system you're looking at is of good quality or rubbish. First of all, with your panels, they must use marine grade standard metal in the framework. In Australia, most of us live in coastal cities and corrosion can be a big problem. Using the right metal solves this problem. Secondly, all solar systems, whether they're cheap and nasty or top of the line, are affected by shadowing. Any major shadow from trees and antenna roof mounted, air conditioner, satellite dish and you know of course cloud cover, they affect the output of the panels until the shadow passes. Now most solar systems operate like a cheap set of Christmas lights. If you lose a globe you lose the string. If you have a shadow across one panel the entire system cuts out until the shadow passes. I mean totally dumb, totally dumb. A quality system works like a better set of Christmas lights you lose the globe and the rest keeps shining. So if you lose one panel, the system continues to operate irrespective of it. Also, the best panels have what they call separate diodes. Now, if you divide your solar panel into, say, three or six separate sections, this is called a diode. 
With a quality tier 1 system, you can lose one section of one panel and the balance of the panel and the balance of the system continues to operate. And I know it sounds silly and it sounds very pedantic when we talk about it in this way, but it makes a massive difference on your output efficiencies throughout the year. Now we offer two types of systems, what we call the standard technology and the new technology system. Let me explain to you the differences. Firstly, understand that these two systems are both Tier 1 rated systems. That includes the panels, the inverters and the components used for the installation. The difference is in the technology. Our standard system is based on current market technology which has been used in the industry for decades. In other words, although solar panels have improved in quality and in efficiency over time, the same basic electrical circuit has been used in their production for many, many years. Let's look at a rectangular solar panel. Along the length of a solar panel runs metal strips from the top of the panel to the bottom. These strips carry the energy down through to the inverter. This is what we call a standard technology system. The new technology system uses a technique called metal wrap through. Essentially, on each of the 50 or 60 solar cells on the panel is a metal star. Now the energy runs along the length of the star to the center and then wraps through the center to the back of the panel and then through to the inverter. With metal wrap through technology, the energy has far less distance to cover, giving it the ability to send more energy back to the inverter. Now these new technology panels are called Canadian ELPS. And look, just a little bit about the company behind this product. Canadian Solar is the fourth largest solar company in the world with laboratory grade production facilities and is one of the most financially stable publicly listed solar companies in the world. You know, one of the reasons for this is their low debt to equity ratio. Now, these are the leading products on the market at the moment and even the other tier one panels in their category cannot match their output efficiency or their levels of quality control in the manufacturing process. You know, typically a Canadian ELPS system will produce 7% better output efficiency over a standard technology system of the same size. So if you have two 5 kilowatt systems, one a standard system and the other one an ELPS system, the ELPS will outperform by at least 7%. Now this may not sound like much, but it adds up over 20 or 30 years. So you may ask yourself the question, why we bother to still the standard system at all? Firstly, understand the objective of your coach is always the same, no matter what the product is, and that is to eliminate your bill. As you can imagine, the Canadian ELP systems are a more expensive option by far, despite the added value and the quality, the, the quality, the costs do become a factor for many of our clients. As a rule, we only offer the ELP system if there is a direct need for it, or unless you specifically ask for it. Just because it's the latest and greatest on the market, doesn't mean you can't eliminate your bill with the standard system. Look, at the end of the day, if your bill is gone, then it's gone, technology notwithstanding. However, there are some specific instances when using a Canadian ELP system will give you a distinct advantage over another. If you're in a situation where you have limited space, you've got shadowing issues, or more likely, are needing every available kilowatt you can find to eliminate your bill, then our coaches would recommend the ELPS product. I'll, I'll give you an example, and we'll talk about this more a little bit later on. We installed a 13 kilowatt system um, for a retired gentleman near the beach who had a large home and had very high demand for power to the tune of about $2,000 a quarter. After the site inspection, we determined that we had no other option but to put an ELP system on the roof as the system needed outstripped the available roof space to place it. Now this gave him the maximum output efficiency for the space the long-term financial benefits far outweighed the additional cost. Anyway, we'll watch a video on that a little bit later on. Now, just a few words about our inverters. We use a range of products, including Aurora, uh, SMA, Delta, and some Tier 1 Chinese inverters. And we pick the inverter for your job the same way we pick the panel. What's the best one for the job, depending on the size and layout of your system? Alright, let's talk warranties. Our inverters are all tested for Australian climate conditions and come with either a 5 or 10 year warranty, it depends on the product. The standard manufacturer's warranty for solar panels on the market is a 25 year efficiency warranty. And this can range anywhere from 20 to 30 years, but 25 is the most common. 
Now understand that this warranty only covers the efficiency of the panels, not the panels themselves. Let me, let me explain. The way most warranties work for panels is that they guarantee to produce no less than 80% production over 25 years. So whatever your system is supposed to do on the day it is installed, it can't have more than a 20% energy loss over that time frame. The standard warranty is no more than 10% loss or 90% production in the first 10 years and no more than 20% loss or 80% production over the next 15 years. This type of warranty applies in our standard technology range and is called a stepped or a, a blocked warranty. What this means is that your system could be installed tomorrow and drop 10% efficiency in the first year and still be operating within normal warranty parameters. All our products also have a 10 year workmanship and material defects warranty to cover the panels or hardware themselves and not all products will come with this additional warranty. The best panel warranty on the market is Canadian Solar's Alps range. It's something called Linear Performance Warranty and they guarantee a 97% power output efficiency in the first year and then no more than 0.7% energy loss each year for the next 25 years. You can see by the graph the substantial increase in production over time a product that comes with this sort of warranty provides. The Canadian Alps also comes with the only triple insurance backed 100% non-cancellable warranty of its kind on the market. In English it simply means that even if the company was ever to go bankrupt your warranty is still um, backed by three separate international insurance companies that have been insured and paid for upfront on the completion of the panels meeting all quality control standards. I mean there's simply no other warranty like this on the market. So just to wrap up products and warranties. At Solar Coach, we focus less on the brand of the product and more on what you need to get the job done. Since we already use high quality panels and inverters that meet the highest standards for quality control in the industry, in other words, you know, mostly tier one stock, all we do is select the right system for your roof. In some cases, this may mean things like a tilt kit for a flat roof, uh, a split system with multiple inverters, the right brackets and railings for your roof, it might mean a single or dual tracker inverter, a wider range output inverter like Aurora, it could mean larger panels or panels that have a higher output efficiency due to limited roof space. Whatever you need, our installers will work out the best scenario to produce the greatest efficiency for that size system. Always with the elimination of the bill being the number one objective.